What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man Chaz Ellis once again answering the questions that you ask me. I got a good question from somebody a little bit different than where, than the way I usually get them, but um, I'm going to answer it anyway because that's what I do. I answer your questions. Anyway, also I want to make sure when y'all get done with this video, please like, share, subscribe, do all of that. Also hit me up on Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook and go to the ChazEllisProject.com. Do all of that. All right, anyway. So there's a good question that I got. Um, basically, this girl sent me a message, and it was kind of weird um, because it says, um, it says, um, I was dating a guy for over a year. He treated me kind of bad. It says he cheated on me. And now, after we broke up, He's dating, he started dating a friend of mine's sister. Um, he said, she says, I texted her and sent her a Facebook message telling her what kind of guy he was, but she refuses to listen. How do I get her to listen? Wow. So basically what she's saying is she just broke up with a dude who cheated on her and was treating her bad. And now he's dating a friend of hers, or a friend of hers' sister. And now she's a, she's upset about that because she feels like dude is, I guess, going to do her wrong is what she's trying to say. And she says she's been trying to warn her through text messages and Facebook. And she was asking me, you know, basically, how do I, what do I do? How do I get a person to believe me? Well, I got to start out by saying this. I'm going to have to call bull crap on you right now. You don't care about your friend and your relationship and her relationship with this dude. Stop. You don't care. Uh, this is your friend's sister. So that means if it was that good of a friend, your friend already knows what dude was doing to you and she would have told her sister by now, right? So what are you even getting involved for? Let's be real. Dude, y'all, you and dude broke up. He kind of got a new girl real fast. It makes you feel like you're replaced. It kind of makes you feel bad. Also, you feel like if he did you that wrong, why does he get to move on first? You're going through a roller coaster of emotions right now. And you want to be able to affect his life because he's still affecting yours. You feel bad. You know, you're hurt. So you feel like you're still affecting your life and now you want to affect his. Let's keep it real. Let's be honest. Okay? Now, you can sit here and get this girl, send this girl Facebook messages. You can sit here and send this girl um, text messages. You can call her for hours over and over and over again. At the end of the day, she may listen to you and she may decide she don't want to be with this dude anymore. Or she may not listen to you. And she may not decide she wants to be not be with this dude anymore. Either way, what you're doing is you're using your energy. And here's the bad thing about energy. You can give your energy to somebody else, which right now you're giving your energy to their relationship. Um, whether you're talking to her or you're talking to him about trying to stop their relationship, you're giving your energy to their relationship. Now, you can give your energy to somebody any kind of way you want to. It could be negative. It could be positive. It could be meant to help. It could be meant to hurt. It could be meant to split them up. It could be meant to bring them together. But you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot tell them how to use your energy. You can give your energy to anyone. You can give your energy to whatever you want to. But you can never, ever, ever, ever tell somebody how to use your energy. You cannot control how they use your energy. I don't know if you've ever been doing this, but have you ever been playing a basketball game and you're playing with a dude on the opposite team and you know dude is pretty good. You're like, man, I know dude can hoop. But he's having like a mediocre game. You know what I mean? It's like nothing, nothing really special. He's just not even really doing nothing, you know. He ain't really crossing dudes up. He ain't really going to the hole. He ain't getting a dunk or nothing like that. He just kind of Playing mediocre, you know, he's taking and settling for jump shots and all that kind of stuff. And then you got a dude on your team, right? And all of a sudden, he just start talking all kind of trash. Just, 
Yeah, that's right. You suck, man. Look at you. Look at you. Watch him. I'm about to ah, shake him. Bow. About to put it up. Oh, LeBron on that ass. You know, he starts doing this kind of stuff. And next thing you know, the dude who has been playing mediocre all game, but you know he's kind of good, but he's been playing like he just regular dude all game. He just start coming alive on dude. Next thing you know, he crossing dude up. He spinning on people. He playing hardcore defense on everybody, trying to steal the ball from everybody, trying to take block shots. All of a sudden, he just goes nuts and then starts scoring points. And then the guy on your team misses. He start missing defensive assignments, missing rebound opportunities, pretty much just not doing nothing. And you're like, what are you doing? Like, all he's doing is focusing on trying to talk this dude out of his game. All he's doing is focusing on trying to mess dude up. And, and he's getting more and more into it as it doesn't work. And you're getting pissed at dude. So he's kind of messing up your game a little bit. So he just brings the whole team down. But mostly himself because he's the downfall of the team. What I'm saying is this. Sometimes just leave it alone. If it's, you know, you don't want to wake the sleeping giant. You don't want to get involved in somebody else's life. You don't want to start trying to bring somebody else down because you only have a certain amount of energy to contribute to your life. Period. You only have a certain amount of hours in the day. And once you use those hours, you can never get them back. They don't come back. Time is not a renewable resource. It's over when it's over. If you use a day for some bull crap, that day is dead. It never comes back, ever. I don't care if you exercise every day. I don't care if you eat right. You don't get days back, period. So when you sit there on, the on your phone texting this girl, you might spend two hours trying to convince her that this dude ain't nothing. He ain't nothing, girl. And you know what else he did? He cheated on me. And, and, and one time we was in Cancun and this fool drank the water. See, that just lets you know he ain't nothing. No, if you can do that and you wasted two hours of your time and you've wasted energy, that's time you could have been using to work on your career. That's time you could have been using to work on getting a new relationship. That's time you could have been working on just bettering yourself as a human being, as a person. But what did you do instead? You spent that time working on being pissed off and trying to destroy the relationship of somebody who ain't thinking about you. That's the truth. That person's not thinking about you. So while you're using your energy trying to hurt them, they're improving their life. They with this girl. And, and you can't destroy their relationship. They may use your energy to become stronger. You sitting here trying to break them up and trying to tear them apart. She get off the phone with you or get off Facebook with you. And she's like, oh, that girl's trying to mess up my relationship with my man. I know she wants him back. Well, you know what? She'll never get him back. She'll never get him back. I'm going to go home right now. I'm going to make him a pot roast. I'm going to suck his thing. I'm going to give him the best sex he's ever had in his entire life. And I'm just going to do everything for this man to make sure that she never gets him back. That happens all the time. You bring their relationship together because they hate you. You ever seen two people who can't really don't really like each other? They don't really care for each other. But then somebody else comes along that's even worse, that they just hate. You know, and it may have happened to you before. I mean, I've been in a situation that myself, like I remember I worked with this one dude and I really didn't like this guy. But this other dude came along and everybody hated him. I mean, he was like the worst person that I've ever met. You know, he was just a horrible, awful dude, just would talk trash all the time and just his whole office space would be messy all the time, just messing up everything for everybody. We just hated this dude. And it was kind of funny because I didn't care for this other dude, but I just started talking to him all the time about the fact that I hated this other dude. And he would talk to me about that. We ended up becoming good friends. I still talk to that dude to this day. Not because we had something in common at the time, but because dude came along and gave us something in common. Hating his guts. And sometimes you do that. You know, you try to mess up somebody else's relationship and you end up giving them a stronger relationship because they rally around the fact that they hate you. So at the end of the day, you got to get over stuff. You just got to let go. Yeah, dude did you wrong. And yeah, it seems like he moved on first. And maybe that's not fair. And maybe, you know, it may be a while for you to find somebody else. But it's going to be even longer, girl. 
if you sit over here trying to hate on this dude. You ain't gonna do you ain't doing nothing but using your energy to try to impact someone else's life when you really should be using it to try to impact yours. Make your life strong, make your life better. Don't sit up here trying to mess up dudes. Cause believe me, if he's everything you say he is and he's gonna be that to her, he'll mess up his own situation. And if he's not like that anymore, then you know she benefits from that. You know, sometimes we feel in, in our lives that if somebody wasn't right for us, they can't be right for anybody. But that's not true. You know, and the only thing you can do is focus on you and focus on improving your situation. So I encourage you to stop worrying about trying to convince this girl of how bad this guy is and really just worry about convincing yourself of how good you are and how worthy you are to have somebody and just have a good life in general. Hopefully I was able to help you. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Make sure you hit me up on Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Also go to the ChazEllisProject.com and check that out too. Got more stuff coming for you in the future, more surprises. I'm going to let y'all know a little something about that now. I got some things going on in the works. So once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.